because it's yeah. easier to <laughs> upload them that way. So is it on? Now it is, yes. Okay. So, because we missed two days already, we are going to eat three chapters. So I'm going to start on chapter three, then read the chapter five. But every chapter is going to be a different video. He's happy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now let's start. Chapter C. Scrooge took his melancholy. Melancholy did not in his usual melancholy tavern. He went home. Like he went home to bed. He lived in a house that once belonged to his sit. Just show me, show me if you need to. Deceased. Deceased. Deceased partner it de was a gloomy <laughs> suit of rooms. As Scrooge approached his front door, he noticed something very old about his door knocker. In place of the knocker was Molly's face. As Scrooge stared at this phenomenon, it turned back into a knocker again. Although Scrooge was startled, he went to his house anyway. The house was very dark and the hot. And the small candle Scrooge held, held did not help much. Although most people would have it been frightened by the dark, scary halls? Scrooge was not, but he did quickly scan his bedroom before he entered, just to be certain that the vision he saw of Molly was not real. Quite satisfied, he closed his door and double-locked himself in, and which was not his usual habit. Suddenly, Molly's face appeared, on, in the tiles of Scrooge's fireplace. Humbug, said Scrooge, and walked across the room. After pacing for some time, he sat down again as he rested his head back in the chair. His, his glance happened to rest upon a bell, a long un Unused. <coughs> um, the unused it fell that hung in the room. It was with great astonishment and with a strange dread that, that as he looked, he saw the star begin to swing. It swung so softly at the, the beginning that it scarcely made a sound but soon it rang out loudly and so did every bell in the house once the bell stopped ringing a strange sound could be heard down <coughs> below it was as if someone were dragging heavy strings in the cellar chains in the cellar. Scrooge then remembered to have heard that 
the ghosts in haunted houses were described as <coughs> dragging chains. <coughs> the cellar radio door flew open with a booming sound, and the <coughs> then he heard the noise much louder on the floor below. <coughs> then coming up the stairs, then coming straight toward his door. It's humbug still, said Scrooge. I won't believe it. <laughs> and that is the end of chapter three. Thank you for watching. Do we need a screen for each?